if you uh, if you guys can subscribe to my YouTube channel, my other YouTube channel, Don't Cry, Just Laugh, that'll be much appreciated as usual. And uh, yeah, the next part will be the last part. So uh, bye bye. But it's one that you can see me going. And I promise you, you can see me on that path. And like, this apology right here, right here, he only says sorry once in this whole thing. He made a journal reacting to my rant as well as mentioning his awareness of my previous work. I kept on reading it, and I started to feel incredibly ashamed with myself upon reading certain points. I never meant for that to happen, and I truly am sorry about it. Oh, he feels sorry that he apparently... He feels sorry that... He made a mistake and did a rant video on one of his colleagues. He feels sorry that, you know, he did a rant video on one of the fans that he is also a fan of. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done more research. Yes, you should have. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. And apparently he still hasn't learned even to this day. This was five years ago. And listen to what he says when he actually starts talking about when he actually addresses Golden Fox. Golden Fox, you are a really good sport. I never wanted to hurt you, and I'm glad that our disagreements came to a mature conclusion. I'm also very surprised, and in a way, I'm proud of you that you had a constructive response or at least a calm response to what I had to say in this stupid rant. So you see, oh, thank you. Thank you for being really, for taking this really well. Thank you, Golden Fox. I'm truly going to learn from this. No, you haven't learned from this. Oh, my God. Like, he doesn't even say sorry to Golden Fox personally. He doesn't even say sorry to him personally through this. Like, maybe there's, like, comments and stuff that they've had together, and, like, you know, but in this video where more people are going to see, and, like, not a lot of people are going to read the comments, he literally doesn't even say sorry addressing Golden Fox. He doesn't address an apology towards Golden Fox personally. All he's really like is, like, oh, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for viewing it. Thank you for taking it really well. Oh, I feel really bad that you got a bit stressed out about it. This is, like... This is a desperate... Like, the only reason he's doing this apology is because of the journal that Golden Fox wrote. Like, which is like, you know, this isn't a lash out on Golden Fox. I'm pretty sure he is a nice guy and everything. But, like, like, it's just like this, the only reason he's doing this is because of the journal and because more people actually started talking about it and giving him backlash and stuff. It's like, he's not doing this and the thing is, he's still making the same mistakes even today. He's still making the same mistakes even today. So he's not sorry, because if he was sorry about it, he wouldn't do those mistakes. I mean, this is probably even worse than just anything else that he's done. I mean, like, I'm, and like him acknowledging it does show at least some sort of maturity. And in a way, like, it is showing a bit more maturity than Doug Walker addressing, like, you know, the, well, Channel Awesome for addressing it. But, you know what? But, like, this is so desperate. And honestly, I would much prefer, like... Like, this is just so, like, he doesn't really say, like, oh, I'm just sorry. Like, he doesn't say it casually. He just sounds so dramatic over it. It's so dramatic and it's so 
fake. I mean, literally, listen to his um, mistakes when he actually does talk about the Golden Fox Rams. What I need to do. You're going to see a number of unsettling things and all of it. Following the backlash I got for the mage rant, I still insisted on continuing with my rants. That Golden Fox was going to be the next reviewer I'd criticize. Like, listen to the music and the tone of his voice. I mean, like, if you actually think that, you know, oh, he actually does mean what he says, I mean, like, I, I, I generally do think he does believe what he says. You know, I generally, I, I have no doubt in my mind to say that he actually does feel sorry, but the way he approaches it is literally false. It feels so fake and so forced. Um... I'll actually, I, I want to actually show you, because, like, that same reviewer who I was telling you about, apparently, Miss Anthropony actually found his video about, um, the Golden Fox Rant, so I just want to actually see if I can find it. Okay, so here it is, okay. So, I can understand that I'm not always, set, I'm not always censored about my past mistakes, but I appreciate if you did if you didn't refer to it as a marketing tactic. I'm sorry, Miss Amphibody, but that doesn't work like that. That doesn't work like that. Like, cause it, it definitely feels like it. It definitely feels like a marketing tactic. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, look over of what Miss Anthropony said about Golden Fox, um, just so I can get a better understanding about what the whole thing was all about and everything, uh, what he actually said and why Golden Fox actually reacted to it. So, let's see. Season 4 was a lot better than I thought it was. It brought a lot of memories of who I was with from my review in progress. They've become unforgettable experiences for me that will hopefully lead for the better. I can remember like it was yesterday when I first started. I never thought that time would pass by this quickly, but looking back, they have something for me to truly appreciate. Admittedly, a lot of us have been dysfunctional, and even worse, we were given a rather bad reputation of the fandom. This was not meant to happen. Oh, you silly knucklehead. If you think you're going to eat... <laughs> Silly knucklehead. <laughs> oh my god. What are you, his grandma? <laughs> Come here, you knucklehead. Oh, you silly little knucklehead. Oh, you little knucklehead. Oh. <laughs> knucklehead, fucking hell. Did he just slow down the Sonic Adventure theme just to avoid copyright claim? Hmm, let's try it with my videos. But then again, that would imply that I'm actually being merciful in a rant video. Claiming that Golden Fox is more tolerable than Biter is like claiming that Digibro is more tolerable than Kimmy Sparkle. Sure, they're both better, but once you actually start watching their reviews of Season 4, you'll quickly come to understand why they're here. Whatever. So... He's ba he basically made this video because he disagrees with his opinion. I mean, if Golden Fox is wrong about stuff, I mean, call him out on it, but... Again, it's just his opinion, dude. I have a feeling that those dislikes for Robin's analysis on the episode came solely from Goldie's need to complain about how the characters aren't doing the things that he wants them to do. Yeah, but... 